Okay, we're gonna continue now. The spring goes over that little tab with this part up and you lay that on here and compress the spring, push the spring over that. And then we're gonna use another number 10 flat washer and another little 1032 filister head screw. install your fast idle cam. And that's the way she works. This should be this should be spring loaded. And you can see as you move your choke back, it advances your throttle. And then it comes back Okay, now we're ready to install the C-clip. We make these brand new, and mine are the improved version of the C-clip, which has, it has a little slot cut here, so you can put a hairpin clip on it. These were bad, especially if your holes in your carburetor were worn, that it would uh, cause it to... Uh, It would cause it to to jump out of your of your throttle linkage or your pump rod. So once you put your clip in there, everything seems to be working good. Now what we want to do is you'll take a little the, one of the little hairpin clips that comes in the uh, in the C clip. And reach in there and insert it in that that slot okay now we've got our seat clip on our choke mechanism is working and that completes all the your side linkage so Putting your other top screws in with the washers, and remember what I told you. Tighten it down just enough that the washer is compressed. We're going to compress the washer till the washer's flat. And that's basically where the screw stops. And then We'll give it about a quarter of a turn more, and that's all it needs. All right, that completes your rebuild. Should be ready to put on the car. Remember, these carburetors only need 2 PSI of fuel pressure. If you're going to run a cable choke, the cable choke goes on this back screw right here. Or you can use our Edmonds choke bracket, which also attaches and uh, works fine on these carburetors. As you can see, okay, this, this is made to fit right in there. And this will hold your cable in the proper position for your, uh, for your choke to operate. Other than that, clean fuel, no more than two and a half PSI. I prefer to run two pounds. These carburetors have a real short float fulcrum like the Stromberg 97, and they're not designed to, to have a whole lot of pressure. So uh, you'll find that they run a lot better if you, if you just run them on low pressure and clean fuel. The other thing, make sure on your fuel inlet that you use the proper, if you're going to run hose, I have the proper flared tube fittings with the barb on them for installing hose. Don't use plumbing fittings. If you use plumbing fittings, they'll screw in there. They're half inch 20, but they're also, um, they're also the wrong, wrong thread. Uh, these gaskets are universal. They have the holes here. This is for the ECG carburetors, the big ones. 
if you don't like that on there you can take a razor blade and trim that off but the but the gaskets they supply today have that on them and it's just they save it to put one gasket for each one of the modifications okay there's your holly 94 completely done it looks a lot different than it did when he came in here if you need to contact us i'm charlie vintagespeed.com 772-778-0809 if you have any problems or you need any parts for this carburetor give me a call thank you